Hi folks, for those of you unaware of what steampunk is, it's basically a science fiction genre based around the steam era and with different fashions, with cogs and crazy things. You can have all sorts of fancy elements to it. It's really good fun. Um, and I've been involved in quite a few steampunk events over the last few years. Um, so I thought it'd be quite fun to start doing some animals based in steampunk outfits and gadgets and bits and pieces and a snail is great to do because you've got lots of different circles and shapes on there you can work with so here you go here's a tutorial of a steampunk snail enjoy it is a hard one so please do feel free to pause whenever you need to and let me know how you get on and remember to like and subscribe With this one I'm going to start with two circles, just to one side, like this, doesn't matter if they're a bit wobbly, and then we're going to do a little line going around the outside, just to one side, like this, and then we're going to do another line going around like that like this and then do some little tiny circles just along the side there three on that one and two on that one and then put a couple of dots in the middle like that once you've got that I'm going to bring a line down curve it around and do that and back up there curve around and do that Then do a line round, up, and over to there, and then just going behind, similar on that side. Once you've got that, we'll do a line going down, curve it around like this, and down. And then do a couple of little circles around the bottom of there, like that. Then we're going to do another line going around and up and go up and around like that. Make a little bowler hat on top. Then run a faint line down the edge and put some little tiny circles up the side like that. Then you can do a couple of lines on the side of the hat if you like. Then what we're going to have is a line going down, up, and curl, and going down, over, and curl like that. Then go down again, over, and curl around, down, over, and curl around like that. Then once you've got that, do a line going down, out a bit, up a bit, down, in and up like that. And then do a couple of lines just down there and a line going across to make some teeth. Now I know snails haven't got teeth but maybe a steampunk one can. <laughs> now into the bottom lips, a line going down, around, up, around, and like that to make that bottom lip. Okay, now we've got that head. I'm going to do a little line going down, around, and up, and put a couple of little circles on there. And then we're going to go down and slightly wider, down like that. And then put some faint lines going up like this. Then we do a very faint one following down the edge and then finish that off with a little sort of tapered line. Then I'm going to do a line going down and around and up and then do a little circle on there. And you can do a couple of little squares on the edge 
looks like that, and follow a little line around like that, and then put two lines to make a little clock. Then three sort of oblong circles. Generally, if you've got your own shapes you want to put on, you can just muck around with this, it's quite fun. You just have a bit of fun with it. Then we can do two circles here. A little part missing, so I'm going to do a part coming off. Now over here I'm going to do another circle, sort of going back like that. And then do a full one inside there. And then join across with a little stick. Like a little piece of machinery going on there. Then we're going to do a square, a slight angle like that. Another one at a slight angle like this. Another one just up there like that. And you've guessed it, another one just down there like that. You can put a bit of a bend in them because these are going to be on the shell that goes around. And then do a little circle in the middle. And then another little circle in the middle of that. And another one inside that. And then do a line going across like a little bolt or something like that. You can tell I'm making this up as I go along. Then what we're going to do is do a line going up to that cheek there. And then around like that. Follow that line up to there and back again. Now, where this line follows, we're going to make the circle going round. So, go around there, round there, and round like that. And then we're going to do another circle going around to there connecting around these squares and then going behind there and then down and put a couple little bolts on these like this And then we can do some lines going around to make it all sort of machine like. So do a line like this, a line like that, a line like that. And we can do a couple on here like this. And then put some bolts around the edges. To make it look all sort of machine like and crazy. It takes a little bit of time, but it is fun when it's finished. Now I'm going to connect a piece on there and put a line down like that. And then fill that up and around to there. Now just for good measure, I want to put a little square on the top, or sort of rectangle on the top. I'll make a couple of little chimneys for fun. So do a line going out, a bit wonky, like that, and do a line going across. Go a line going up and across, another rectangle, and a couple of little circles on there. And then maybe I'll put some lines going down. I'll say maybe because I'm just making it up, like I say. <laughs> so that's the fun with this, you can just kind of do what you like and do a kind of squash circle. Do a couple of squash circles on there and then have a square on top. Then we can do another one on this side, maybe slightly wonky again, and over and down. And I think I'll do some wider lines going across with some bolts 
here and there. Go a line across another rectangle and then some more of those little circles. And another line on there. Then do a line going down there and across. And another one like that. And a line going out and out with a rectangle on the back. And another one up, down, and then a rectangle like that. Then put some more little circles on this, look like little bolts and things. And maybe we'll do a line going up, zigzag, circle and across. And put a little line on there. Then we can do this tail coming out and down, curl it up and follow around like that. Then we can do a wiggly line and a few little random circles, quite light, just for the texture of the snail. And then fill in some few small details, so a line in there, some creases in it. And put a couple of patches on there, some little bolts. Another one up there in that big space. It's about making all the different areas look interesting and sort of funky and strange. Another circle on there. What I might actually do as well is make this look like those sort of shower cords, you know, the ones you can move around all over the place. So he can move his eyes everywhere. Put lines across going all the way up. And put a little bit of slime down there. There's also snow without some slime underneath. And then just to finish it off, you could put a couple of little sort of scratch marks and tarnishes. Make him look a bit scruffy, like he's had a hard time. Oh, and one last little bit I just want to add on there, just for a bit of effect. Here's a couple of little wiggly lines, like there's steam coming out of these little chimney parts on him. Because you can't have a steampunk snail without steam and there you go your steampunk snail <laughs>